Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this very dramatic but very gorgeous at the same time green eyeshadow makeup look. I was very inspired by some videos and pictures I saw here on YouTube so I wanted to give it a go. If you want to find out how to get this look just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy. So to start off the look, I'm using a MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, and I'm just applying that all over my eyelid with a just a little simple eyeshadow brush, and I'm just applying that all over my eyelid up to the brow bone and spreading that in. The Paint Pot acts like a eyeshadow base and as a primer, so you don't need to apply a primer if you don't want to. This will work just fine. Next I took some scotch tape and I applied it to the outer part of my eyes so we get a nice sharp eyeshadow edge after we finish the look. And then I'm taking this dark green color for my BH Cosmetics palette and on a Sephora blending brush I'm going to be taking that and blending that up into the crease area just so we can get kind of like a starting point and sometimes it's always better to start with the crease and then do the lid. It just makes the colors blend easier and I found that working with the crease first worked better. So I'm just blending that in, going in backwards and forwards windshield wiper motions just to blend out the color. Next I'm using my 18 color Galaxy Chic BH Cosmetics palette and I'm taking this color Comment and I'm going to be mixing it with this lighter sea green color for my BH Cosmetics palette and on a little C brush by e.l.f. I'm just going to first apply Comment all over the eyelid. This color is absolutely gorgeous and I thought it went really really well with the look. So I just patted that all over the eyelid up into the green and then we will go back and blend that out afterward. So after we applied the color Comet to our eyelid, I went back in with that sea green color that I showed you and I'm just going to be putting that on top of it just so we can kind of have a lighter green color and yeah, just to kind of mix colors up a little bit. And then I'm going back in and just kind of blending that out off to the crease a little bit and then going back in and blending the crease a little bit because we want all the colors to go together and blend really well. Next to give my eyes some more depth, I decided to use this darker green from the same palette and on a little pencil brush I, brush, I applied that to the outer part of my eye just to give my eyes some dimension and some depth to it. And I really wanted to stick with the green so I just applied that there. You can use whatever color you want, just kind of get creative with it. Then after we applied that, I just kind of blended that out ever so slightly. Then for a little bit of a cat eye, I used my e.l.f. cream eyeliner and on a little eyeliner brush, I just did a little tiny cat eye there and then removed the tape. So there's what the eyelid looks like all finished up and what I'm going to be doing is taking that same dark green color and applying that underneath my lower lash line just to kind of bring down the green a little bit more. Then for an eyeliner, I used this green one by Wet n Wild. I think it's in a teal color if I remember correctly. Um, and they're not tested on animals in case anyone was wondering. So I'm just applying that just on the outer third of my waterline. Then I just went in with a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and applied that to my top and bottom lashes. Then for blush, I'm using a Maybelline Master Glaze in Just Pinched Peak pink and applied that to my cheeks and then I went in with a bronzer by Marc and just contoured my cheeks a little bit and then blended that out. For my lips I used the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee and just spread that in all over my lips. 
And then here you have the completed makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun for me to do and try something new. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to check out my links down below. Subscribe to my channel if you already have it. And of course, share my videos. It really does help. If you guys want to see any more makeup looks that you want me to do, just go ahead and post them on my Facebook page and I will get to them eventually. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.